Hey there, Colleen Solis here, founder at Herb Nerd. Thanks for watching. Uh, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, also, check out herbnerd.com. I'm here today with Jess Heilman, and we're going to be talking about a really awesome new course that's going to be dropping very soon at herbnerd.com. We wanted to kind of get you excited about all the amazing content and break it down a little bit for you. So this is now June of 2022 and at the end of the month we are going to be launching a new course at herbnerd.com and it's called Lotions and Potions and it's a four course series on using cosmetic chemistry to make natural products. I'm a natural product formulator. Perhaps you've already seen some of my videos here at the YouTube channel. And I have a long journey that led me to where I am and I'm self-taught mostly. And of course that led me so far and made me realize the limitations of my experience. And then luckily I came across Jess just by accident because she worked for Sepic, which is a big uh, raw ingredient supplier for you know large man large scale manufacturing companies and cosmetic chemistry com companies and I was just kind of dabbling with all these little ingredients and she was an incredibly amazing resource from the first moment I talked to her she was so forthcoming with information I mean she was probably at the time just getting paid to like answer people's phone calls and make people happy for the company but I just yeah. thought to myself like this woman I have to keep in contact with her because uh, I have a feeling this is going to go somewhere. And so here we are today and she has offered and been amazing about helping me develop this course on natural product development and cosmetic chemistry. So it's called Lotions and Potions. It's a four course series and we're going to really break down the first course today. But before we dive into all of that, I just want to give Jess a moment to introduce herself and tell us about how she got to where she is today. Sure. Thank you for that great introduction. Thank you. I appreciate it. Made me feel good about myself. Um, so <laughs> I I was in college getting uh, my bachelor's in chemistry, and um, I had an internship in my junior year where I went and I worked for the R and D facility to uh, a pretty pretty big um, OTC company, um, skincare company, over the counter products, yes. and. Um, so I really fell in love. I was just doing lab work there, you know, and like taking the pH products and uh, eventually started dabbling in some formulation with a formulation scientist there. Mm. Um, and I just absolutely love learning about um, the science of your skin and how complex it is um, and what ingredients to use and how you could take all these awesome ingredients and just put them together and it becomes something totally new, totally different from the raw materials that you so made fun. that you started with. Um, so being a creative person, that was very enticing to me, mm -hmm. um, and learning. And to this day, I still learn every day about new ingredients and, and what to use on your skin and what not to use and how to use it. And it's just been a really fun experience, uh, over the past eight plus years, um, doing this, um, so I started off in some contract manufacturers after I graduated college and really got into doing a very big variety of products, a very big variety of uh, ingredients were used, mostly the conventional style ingredients. And then as natural products became bigger, uh, I started focusing a lot on there uh, and moved towards um, a small organic company where I helped them launched some products and built up their manufacturing and had a lot of fun doing that. Um, and so now I am focusing on continuing that journey, but with a bunch of different brands. So uh, I have, a, I'm a consultant in the skincare industry. Um, and She's I worked me with, many times. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, with my company, Pure Chemistry Consulting, uh, working with, uh, a bunch of different green beauty brands and uh, helping them build their brands and also with a couple of um, brand new um, companies that haven't even launched anything yet. Um, so I just find that super exciting. I love being able to create fun products um, and make them all in my house mm -hmm. and then send samples to other people's houses. So we can all kind of learn together. Um, oh, I have an, a very quick off, off script question for you, Jess, sure. actually. Sure. So what, was it that made you transition from just kind of traditional cosmetic chemistry to natural? Um, so I've always been uh, pretty, pretty into like the natural, more holistic stuff in my own life. Um, so I always kind of focus on living a more sustainable lifestyle. 
um, and eating very clean and very healthy. Um, and then, you know, there was a, when I first entered the industry about like a year or two in, there was a huge push towards these, like having indie beauty brands come out mm -hmm. and green beauty. Um, and I saw it as like a, an opportunity to just learn more and expand. And also, sure. you know, if I'm going to be sustainable in my life, uh, I need to work for companies who focus on sustainability and who, who yeah. make that a part of their brand identity um, and actually care about it instead of just greenwashing, you know, and oh my gosh, adding sure. some <laughs> adding some aloe extract and calling it plant based. So, uh, <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's Which kind is of so what... true. That's totally what happens. And putting it in it a yeah. off white packaging with a little sage green and just people are totally. Yeah caught off guard by that yeah yeah and it's hard to know like in, unless you actually have spent a lot of time studying these ingredients and knowing where they where they're uh, extracted from and how they're made it's very difficult to know what's actually natural and sustainable and like and uh first you know what's just your your marketing team decided yeah. that it would help them make money you know yeah, it's so interesting to hear it from that perspective. It's so true. And I come from the opposite end of the spectrum where I started out as the super hippie. Well, we both started out from a place of sustainability and we kind of found yeah. ourselves here because my products for all these years were as natural as I could possibly make them. I stripped away everything that felt that was chemical or gross or, you know, could be potentially hazardous. And I was mm -hmm. only using things like alcohol tincture to preserve my products and a little bit of a vitamin E or rosemary extract. And uh, then I had some bad batches. And so yeah. I'm also, I just have, we're speaking to the fact that, well, who should take this course, right? And I think that it's so relevant for anyone, no matter where they're at in their journey as a product developer or manufacturer. And manufacturing is a kind of a scary word if you're just at home making products for fun. But it really is critical that you kind of step up your, you know, preser preservation strategy game a little bit just to ensure that your products are shelf, are shelf stable for the health of your mm -hmm. skin and for the health of yeah. the people you sell your products to. Yeah. Yeah. And I know it can you know, using the chemical names of products can be scary because you don't know what they are. Uh, but, you know, having an effective preservative system is always safer than putting bacteria on your face, you know? So, so true. Oh, because <clears throat> guess what? And acne as a type of bacteria. So you're just feeding, you know, bad bacterial <clears throat> growth on your face, which leads to outbreaks. And, you know, so yeah. we, we are obviously trying to avoid that with natural product creation. And mm -hmm. kind of where I was going with that was, there are some necessary ingredients that are a little bit daunting for the very purest natural skincare maker, sure. but we're here to tell you that they are still very safe and we're going to teach you in this course how to use them wisely and effectively. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, anything else you want to say about that? Yeah, I was just also thinking for the purists, there are ways to to do these, you know, essentially preservative free systems, um, but you really have to formulate in a very specific way. You have to make sure that you keep your pH low um, and you have to make sure that you utilize ingredients to kind of reduce your water activity so that microbes don't have water to hold on to to grow. Yeah. Um, so there, uh, of course, is ways to do this. If you super don't want to use any sort of traditional preservative, uh, and that's a part of our course too, is to teach you how to do this, but to do it safely. Mm -hmm. So that you make sure everything's sanitized, you're yeah. using ingredients and formulations that will inhibit the bacteria growth, and also you're using packaging that will prevent bacteria growth. So if yeah. you have this natural um, system that does contain water, and you put it in a jar, if you think about, you know, how many fingers go into that jar, oh, and jars. did you wash your hands before you did it, and, you know, what did you touch before that? Um, so, true. so these are all factors that go into it, and, you know, if, if it's not something that you're doing every day, it's not something that you think about, you know, it's not something that, that really would pop up in the top of your head, but um, me, with me doing this every day, those are things that, you know, I, I do think about, I'm trained to think about, so I just want to be able to share that information with everybody, um, and to make sure that we, you know, all are safe in using these products. Yeah. Well, the word empowering really comes to mind because yeah. I think through this knowledge is power and you feel mm -hmm. like you're presenting something to the world that 
has been, the care has really gone into presenting it in a way where it's safe and effective and long lasting. Um, but yeah, I just wanted exactly. to go back really quick to just point out a few folks that we think are going to benefit the most from this course. Like who, who should take this course? I mean, granted, if you're watching this video and you're feeling hell yeah, then, then uh, by all means sign up. I'm not going to stop you. Uh, but like who, who is this designed for? So anyone who's interested in stepping up their formulation game, which we've kind of already talked about, you know, it's just, also, it's going to teach you formulation, which maybe you're still following recipes that you found online and you're just very DIY about this. Uh, again, I had so many years of making products where I didn't have access to this type of information. So I was just kind of using books and my own intuition to create. And we're going to really mm -hmm. show you how to lay out a formula so that you can use it time and time again and make your batch size you know, malleable so you can make any batch size you want. So that's always a huge piece of this for me is just teaching people how to formulate, which feels very basic. But I mean, using an Excel spreadsheet is actually very new to some people, right? <laughs> um, so also, are you starting a business? Are you wanting to produce a product that's being given to others that, you know, you're going to be liable for anything that happens to a person because mm -hmm. they put a product on their skin that potentially caused them to have an outbreak. You will hear about it right away. And folks are really on it with their skincare. They will know if it was your product that caused any issue. So you have to be careful. Yeah. Um, and then let's see. So shelf stability. So we're talking today specifically about shelf. Well, the course is shelf stability for the natural skincare world. And that's a big deal because we are very limited in what we can use compared to traditional cosmetic chemistry. So learning all about these great natural preservatives that are out there just just has access to so many more than I, I, I know anything about because even the few suppliers I use, it's, it's daunting. Like what are all these things yeah. and what do they do and what do they mean? Um, and also we're doing these really cool makers kits that we're uh, offering as an add on to the course. So at the end of the course, Jess and maybe I are going to be doing these follow along videos. So you're going to actually get everything in the mail that you need to follow along with a formula and make it with us. And that's just, I, I don't think there's anything quite better than just doing it yourself yeah. and getting your hands on. So having that, that last little, uh, the tail end of this course where you get to make it, you really are applying everything that you learned. So we're going to be using ingredients that we talked about um, throughout the entire course. Yeah. Um, we're going to use those to make um, a gel cleanser and a emulsified uh, moisturizer. Um, and so if you had taken any courses previously with Colleen, you could use your tinctures in there and like you can really make it like your own uh, your right. own product. And so that's what I think is just really interesting about this course is getting this kit, you'll have the base ingredients that you need. Um, and then you, you can, uh, customize it any way you want. Yeah. Um, and you know, we'll, we'll be here to help you to tell you where to put those custom ingredients and when to use them and how to use them. Amazing. Yeah. We're talking infused oils. We're talking glycerates, tinctures, sedums yeah. the, the sky is the limit with all the wonderful herbal because herbal we're talking green beauty herbal beauty is this really kind of budding uh industry right now and mm -hmm. um so i also highly recommend you go back and take my course on herbal remedy my herbal remedies intensive course if you it's a great prerequisite to this or an adjunct because it's teaching you how to make all those great infusions that then can be added to these natural skincare formulas now you have mm -hmm. access to your instructors we're here to help and support you through the process and and we're going to create a forum on the website at herbner.com and that forum's open to you from now until forever so as people take this course they join the forum and questions come up for people and we can share all the things that we're making and we'll always be there to to help you and support you in the forum as well. So just lots of great access long-term to, to to a cosmetic chemist who's making natural products, which is such a sweet yeah. deal. What can go wrong? Yeah, so a lot can go wrong <laughs> when you're formulating, <laughs> as I think Colleen uh, can attest oh, to, yeah. and I'm sure, sure I'm sure a lot of your viewers can attest to that too. Um, you Especially know, so creams. Oh a big gosh. thing about having experience in the cosmetics industry um is you're gonna sometimes it's gonna fail sometimes it's not gonna work um and so with this course is that the best half of the one of the best things about it is that you get to learn from everything i've failed at <laughs> which uh, <laughs> sure. throughout eight years has, there's been a lot of failures um but from those failures i've learned so much and um was able to 
to utilize that knowledge and be able to figure out is does my emotion look stable if it's not stable how do I fix it you know say, like after a, um, a, a cool down phase I can just kind of look at a lotion or um, a cream and know almost right off the bat if it's going to separate um and I can go through the formula and figure out what did I do wrong? Like what needs to be increased? What needs to be potentially decreased? Mm -hmm. Um, or did I homogenize too long? So, um, that's some of the stuff that we'll cover to also figure out how to in the moment fix something, Yeah, which I think is very important to do or in the moment, know when it's far (laughs) too gone and you need to start, start over, which is definitely an option. (laughs) Uh, so, I mean, what else can go wrong? We already kind of went into preservation a little bit, but let's talk about why it's important and what can go wrong with it. So, you know, you have yeast and mold and, um, bacteria, um, E. coli staph, um, all these things can grow inside your products, um, and be very dangerous to put on your skin. You know, um, it can be anything from, you know, a little rash or a little breakout to having like a full staph infection um, on your skin, which is terrifying and really not safe. And um, so while natural preservation is an option and something we're definitely going to cover and we're definitely going to talk about and using something called a hurdle technology um, to make sure that your formulation is safe for use and also not just safe that week, but safe for a year. Mm -hmm. Um, And and then we'll also talk about um, more traditional preservation systems. Um, But the more traditional preservation systems we're going to talk about are approved by different uh, natural certifications. So um, if you're familiar, there's Cosmos and EcoCert, Natru, um, Cosmetic. Uh, These are all different certification bodies Mm -hmm. that understand that preservation is just as important as being natural um and they've approved different um preservation systems that are synthetic but provide um preservation while being safe while you can use it on your skin these are ingredients that are approved in the eu as well as the us um and are safe to use if used correctly so jess wants to break the course down into four different parts So the first one is the foundational Mm -hmm. course. It's the building blocks of cosmetic chemistry. And so in that course, you're getting to know kind of your main, uh, your mainstay ingredients that go into all of your lotions and gels. And then we're going to offer in course two, all of your actives. So that's kind of going Mm -hmm. into this realm of is your product efficient? Is it doing what you set out to have it do? All the different terminology for the different ways that it acts on the skin and then all the great options out there for natural. There's so many cool, like very cutting edge technologies right now for including and incorporating natural products like stems, uh, like plant stem cells and nano mm-hmm. emulsions and things like that that are really yeah. fascinating and really show some major uh, signs on the skin of working without being super synthetic and intense right Mm -hmm. and then after that the the third one is setting up your lab right yep yep so learning how to make something just like this right behind me so that you can uh, make your batches in the lab and where to purchase everything and how to use it um, and how to be safe in the lab too because that's just as important as making your products yeah well and having a sweet lab setup makes you so much faster and more efficient at your job too Mm -hmm. because you have everything you need and you've got it right where you know to go it's so important to be organized when you're formulating i have found over the years yes it is (laughs) and clean and cleaning up when you're done oh my gosh that's (laughs) that's the worst part okay and then the final course of the four course series is going to be all about like the the fun part formulating right like Mm -hmm. taking everything we've learned and creating some really amazing formulas unique formulas to be the products that you want to develop Okay. Yep, the Makers Intensive. Makers I think. Intensive. That's going to be a fun okay. one. I can't wait for that. It is. I know. Uh, okay, and so great. So, so Jess, I want you to take us through how the four week course is going to break down. Like, what it, what does each week entail? What are these What are these building blocks that we're going to be learning about? Sure. So, um, the building blocks are are just that. You know, it's going to be the base of your formula. It's going to be what you need for it to give it its skin feel, its its um, stability, 
Um, and so that you can add all of those extras and you can add everything else you want to have an effectiveness. So it's going to start with a surfactants course or a surfactants week um, and break down what surfactants are. Um, you know, most people think about the foaming and cleansing surfactants of um, like your hand soap or mm -hmm. your shampoo or your body wash. So, but um, surfactants are also include your emulsifiers um, and your sol solubilizing agents. And so um, that's really a big, a big group that we're going to focus on. Yeah, you um, and then with that emulsifier. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, following that, we're going to go into thickeners. Um, so your thickeners include your gelling agents. So like xanthan gum, um, guar gum, different gelling agents. And also fatty acids and waxes. Mm. So, um, you know, you have beeswax or if you're trying to go for a more vegan route, you have like candelilla wax um, and carnauba wax. Um, so different ingredients to help stick it. And we're going to talk about why it works and how it works and when to use which one. Mm -hmm. um, and then following that, we're going to go into sensory agents. So these sensory agents really give a, a skin feel to a product. So, you know, in traditional cosmetics, this is your like your silicone. So dimethicone, um, your siloxanes. So we're not focusing on silicones <laughs> at all. We're going to focus on how to replace them. Mm -hmm. So um, how to make sure that your emulsion has good slip to it. So what can we use um, and what's available to us mm. as, as plant-based formulators? Um, and then we'll also talk about how to make your oils less oily. And I know that sounds counterintuitive, um, but when you're using oils on your face, you know, they kind of sit on top. They don't soak in as easily. Um, so mm -hmm. a lot of people don't like that skin feel. So there's a lot of different blends of oils that you can use. And then also you can um, incorporate different absorbents into the product to kind of help it um, not feel so oily. Mm -hmm. um, Sweet. And then the final um, educational portion of it is going to be on preservatives. And, you know, we've covered that a couple of times in this discussion, but yeah. it's essentially going to go over... Uh, alternative preservation so natural preservation uh using this hurdle technology i was discussing earlier um we're gonna also talk about uh, antioxidants and how mm -hmm. we use antioxidants to prevent rancidity in oils um and then we'll also talk about more conservative preservative systems that are approved by these natural certifications um and how to and how to use them and what parameters you need to use them in uh, with your pH and, and different uh, specifications on your formula, you need to use different preservation systems. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll kind of focus on that and um, that'll round out the educational portion of this. And then we'll get into the fun stuff where we get to make these batches together. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be making the gel, a gel cleanser that utilizes cleansing surfactants and gelling agents. Um, and then we'll also be making an emulsion that acts as a moisturizer. Um, and so there we'll be using, you know, emulsifiers and also gelling agents and waxes, um, different sensory agents. So how to make it feel nice on the skin um, and make sure that it soaks in and doesn't just sit on top. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So uh, we'll, you know, be learning all of those ingredients and then also putting them together then. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> It's so fun. I hope you're as excited as I am, everybody out there in the world. So it's important to know that with every Herb Nerd course, yes, we do have an initial launch date and we do have the course available for this first four week series where Jess will be available at the end of it for this live Q&A. But all of our courses at Herb Nerd are recorded and archived and then they're available to watch and take for the from now until the end of time. So if you're watching this video like two years from now and you're realizing, oh man, June 27th, 2022, I totally missed it. No, just head over to herbnerd.com. This course is still available. In fact, by then we'll have filmed and and created all four of the courses. Added to it. Uh -huh, and we'll have like the whole bundle ready for you. So mm -hmm. I always have to like remember when I'm on YouTube, like, oh right, the future future <laughs> land of people that are watching this years from now. It exists. <laughs> so this course is still available at herbnerd.com uh, and it will be into the into the future. I have a feeling it's going to go really well and people are gonna really love it. So definitely check it out and sign up as soon as you can. What do you want to say, Jess? Anything else you want to say before <laughs> we go? <laughs> 
Awesome thoughts. Uh, come learn with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So, cool. Thank you all for watching. This is a... Yeah. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I'm really bad with openers and closers too. I'm always just like, I don't know what to say next, but yeah. Okay. So I hope you're as excited about this as we are. We are, please head over to urbner.com and be sure to sign up for the newsletter if you're an early bird so that you make sure to get that discount for the first week of enrollment, which starts June 27th. And then if you're coming in after that, be sure to just head over and sign up for the course and stay, stick with us for the next, uh, you know, couple cycles so that we can develop this whole product with you. Um, yeah. And if you love what you're watching, be sure to click the subscribe button below mm -hmm. and like this video so that we can get seen by more people. We're trying to get out there into the world. There's very few people doing what we're doing here at urbaner.com. Uh, normally you have to go to school and get a degree in chemistry and be lucky enough to land yourself a cosmetic chemistry gig in order to get this experience. And we want to be able to offer this experience to anyone that's excited about learning this information because we know how many indie makers there are out there and how much these people are, you know, creating small businesses and need this information so that we can mm -hmm. be, we can all be responsible for what we make and build a community of makers uh, with that awesome yeah. forum that we're going to have too. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So put on your, your lab coats or your, uh, oh, or your, that's it. That's or your aprons. Yeah. Some of us have tie dye lab coats, but put on shirt. whatever you got. And, uh, it's tie dye day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don your, don your aprons and lab coats and we'll see you soon. We hope. All right. Thanks everybody. Thanks Jess for hanging with me today to talk about the course details and lotions and potions. See you there. Mm -hmm. Yay.